found a mentor and that that guy he she said one particular line and which is still in my head you did not come in this situation in a day so do not expect to come out of it in a day it is going to take time but have you decided that you're going to change if yes then this is the beginning Hello everyone I hope you all are doing well Today we have an interesting topic to talk about on our podcast that is stress Just as how covid-19 has caused pandemic I would say stress is nothing less than a pandemic It is everywhere and in all the age group Stress is a silent killer It not only is harmful for the health and well-being of people but it deprives people from happiness and the confidence Every first Wednesday of the month of November it is celebrated as National Stress Awareness Day. And on this day we have a special expert to talk about and put some more insight on this topic. Uh we have Mr. Rohit Bhandari with us. He is not only our member at Neha Nutripet. He is a young entrepreneur. He is also a life coach. Uh he has changed a lot of lives and transformed people. Rohit is also an upcoming author. he is going to be writing a book uh, which is about the perception of people he has worked on more than 15000 people in last 3 and 1/2 years globally changing their perspective and mindset i would like to welcome rohit bandari on the podcast of neha nutrifit and uh, since you know it's about stress awareness day we are going to talk about i would like to ask you a few questions and i think you will be the best person uh, since you have a different perception and uh, you know approach towards life uh what would be your take on uh, you know stress how basically you identify that uh, you know i am under stress or what is stress so first of all thank you so much for inviting me i mean it's a privilege it's a because, pleasure yeah just because uh, a year back when i came in i joined i i did not knew uh, what kind of programs you guys are giving in what kind of uh, transformation you take us through and i was completely uh, i mean So when I started, I was eight or nine kgs heavier than what I am today. So thank you so much for helping me do that. That's and a job, <laughs> <laughs> and that's a passion actually. Yeah. So I, I'll come to that as well. That how has my experience been in here? And in regards to stress, one of the things which I want to tell you is, so I I I won't use a technical language. I would rather use a language which people understand. So this is just a label which you're giving to yourself. Yes. Now for example. uh if i say that uh, so when i was in school i was always considered he is a shy person he is a shy person an introvert yeah so introvert to the word ka i i i did not even knew the <laughs> meaning of introvert at that point of time but i never used to speak i used to speak less and a few people labeled me shy my teacher labeled me shy and then i took that label and i went ahead that yes i'm shy yes i'm shy now that label carried on with me impacted my work impacted my relationship and a lot of things in life now the kind of label you give in now you try to adjust according to that label and another thing about the for example uh when you want to express something you you try doing it in different languages you try doing in a lot of things for example if you want to express your happiness what is the story behind that you will narrate the entire thing for example when you had a thought of opening this gym 13 years back you were quite happy i'm going to do this i'm going to do that and you narrated it well and that's how this outcome came out but right. when people want to express their self they just do it in a word so it's a compilation of a lot of things and you've compressed it in one word and that's why it becomes more stressful for you to elaborated let me give you another example now for example uh if uh, uh, you are, you have clicked a photograph in your phone and you want to transfer it to a friend now you'll see the quality of that particular image should not degrade so right. you won't transfer it through whatsapp why just because it compresses the file so we lose the image quality yeah you lose the image quality now you will try another ways you will try different efforts either you'll upload it through google drive or something like that so that the quality doesn't degrade we do not do the exact same things with our expressions what we try to do is we just try to complete it in one word or two word and that's why it compresses and just like you said the quality degrades the quality of our expression is also going to degrade just because you tried compressing it 
So according to me, that's stress where you don't express yourself fully and you compress it and just give it two or three words. So very well said that, you know, a lot of time when we are uh, compressing our feeling, when we are not really expressive, that is where we are, I think, filling up ourselves inside and uh, that is probably causing stress, anxiety. Oh, uh, I so, mean, uh, you know, stress is something where it is, it is basically everywhere people talk about, uh, you know, Nowadays, uh, it's uh, the major factor is pandemic. Uh, other than that, the uh, te ever-changing technology, uh, nuclear families, peer pressure, competition, like, you know, the factors will just go on. And I think more and more people have those, uh, you know, beliefs or, you know, they have those points that, oh, mera stress aaj, iske wajah se aaj, uske wajah se. So, you know, people talk about stress. They, they keep saying that, you know, oh, I'm stressed. But the approach towards tackling that stress is different uh, and I think every person has that way of tackling it in a different manner. So Absolutely. according to you, uh, what do you think are the major or most common causes which is causing stress amongst people? One of the major factor is pleasing people. <laughs> that's, I think that's I mean, even if I, very true. Yeah, just like you said, a lot of things. Pandemic, yes. Uh, I mean, that was one of the most scariest part where all of a sudden the entire world was shut in their home and everyone was having that same kind of energy in their head that if I step out, I'll die. Now, eventually everything is normal now, but people still have that stress in their head that if that time comes again, right. our whole life will go stagnant. And second thing, because of the social media and I'm not blaming social media, social media is the best platform to uh, I mean, showcase yourself that who you are as a person. But now people started doing it differently. They started portraying how to look like a successful person, how to look like a good person, even when they are not a good person inside. Even then, even if they know they are good, but they don't have that assurance that yes, I am good. And if I even if I portray an unfiltered picture, even if I upload that, people will still like it. And the the assurance now that comes up, oh, I got less number of likes. That means I'm not good enough. That causes more stress. So self-doubt. Yeah. And just like you said, you mentioned about a lot of external stuff, which was a relationship getting disturbed, uh, your health getting disturbed, your uh, pandemic hit, uh, stress. Now, all this is external. Now, what about the voice which is running in your head 24-7? That, that is a major cause of stress. Now, for example, I'll give you one of the examples which I utilized in this gym. So before, when I used to, initially when I started my workout, I never used to feel that strength. I was like, this is the last set. On the second last set, I was like, sir, I'm, I'm not able to push, I'm not able to push. And then I asked myself, why am I not able to do that? And to that, I started giving inner codes, C-O-D-I-N-G code, coding. And I started saying that I'm strong, I'm powerful. And I started lifting that. So I was manipulating my subconscious that yes, you can do it. So these kind of small, small things helped me achieve the person I wanted to become. And I chose that I want to become that person. A lot of people are not even able to choose. Just like I said in the beginning, they label themselves, I'm stressed. For example, you have a lot of things to say. And if someone says, how are you? How do you feel? I'm depressed. Done. Now, if you're not able to say anything beyond that, depressed as a term, what meaning you have given to that particular term, the other person would not have perceived the same meaning. But if you say that this is the things which is causing me problem in my head or this is the thing which is occupying a lot of space in my head and I want to empty it. Mm -hmm. Now that gives you a better space to leave it. So it's about more of clarity. Oh, you and gave I the think, right you know, word. As uh, Rohit <laughs> mentioned in his initial uh, answer that, uh, you know, it is more about uh, pleasing people. Uh, and I'm sure that a lot of uh, teenagers and youngsters would relate to this because when I was in college, I tried to please uh, my girlfriend and uh, trust me that relation was getting more and more stressful. But when I met Neha, you know, I was just the way I was. I just took the relation with the flow and you know, it was more real and it was more about who I am. And um, it's been now almost about 19 years we are oh, going. Are you serious? Uh, great no, I did not do this. <laughs> Every single day love is increasing. So a lot of time, you know, people are under that stress with the relations. A lot of youngsters nowadays are going through this. So I think just uh, don't, I mean, just stop pleasing people all the time. Just be what you all are uh, and just do what you want to do. 
Uh, exactly. So I think very well said that you know uh, stop pleasing and just be yourself. Uh, so uh, Rohit, coming to another point is that as a life coach, uh, what is your approach towards uh, tackling stress? Uh, what do you do? What is your mantra? Okay, I, I'll tell you what. This is one basic thing which I which I've understood. I, a lot. Of, I used to do this. I used to go on YouTube, watch motivational videos, and I used to like. Okay, these are the words which are empowering me right now. And after fifteen twenty minutes, everything is gone. And then I I saw more than twelve hundred videos and never got motivated. So I thought there is a problem in my head <laughs> just because a lot of people are getting motivated, but right. I am not. And then I found out someone. I found a mentor, and that that guy he he said one particular line, and which is still in my head. You did not come in this situation in a day, so do not expect to come out of it in a day. It is going to take time. But have you decided that you're going to change? If yes, then this is the beginning. The first thing about uh, handling stress or getting rid of it, you'll have to decide that I'm I allow myself to walk out of this. If I make that particular stress my friend, if I build a house for it, I'm going to stay in that house. But so if exactly, I, you know, every time people just say, "Arey, I'm stressed, I'm stressed." There is no point. I mean, I think you from a small, uh, you know, like a capsule. You know, just uh, putting yourself in that. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, you know, the other question is that nowadays, uh, you know, a lot of people, it's difficult for them to handle stress. And of course, you know, with chronic stress, uh, there are a lot of health problems. There are a lot of psychological issues. Uh, when do you think, as a life coach? a person needs to you know approach for a professional advice uh, when right. it comes to stress or you know sort of a counseling uh, right. when you know somebody is being stressed for a longer duration so uh, i tell you what coaching and counseling are two different things counseling is something which digs a lot into past and then takes you out of that past but coaching is something which is called progressive thinking now Uh, the biggest notion people have is i'll only go to a life coach or a uh, a uh, someone who is talking about mindset when i'm depressed right but that's not the actual case today i work with more than 200 people at this point of time as i'm coaching people i have impacted more than 15000 plus lives now all those people who are getting coached by me right now they did not come into depression or that's why they came into me they wanted to grow from for example they were at 1 and they wanted to reach 10 and it was very clear in their head that they want to reach 10 but they did not know the path right and that's why me as a life coach i started guiding them towards how to find that road map and i don't do it by saying it or, or as a speaker i actually make them do a lot of activities so those activities are as such that you when you start doing it you get to know about yourself better just like you added clarity is the most important thing what we help people is get more clarity on their own self not what is needed right So actually, you know, a lot of people, and even you know, maybe sometime uh, even I was not aware that uh, the difference between actually counseling and coaching. A lot of time, people used to think that oh, coach is there to counsel me, but I think as what Rohit said that counseling and coaching is very different. So uh, I think when someone is going through a chronic stress and it is affecting their psych- psychological and daily life. uh it is very important that you know they should uh, identify and go for professional help uh, that is where you know the life will start blossoming uh, so rohit coming to another question that nowadays i hear uh, a lot of people talk about stress and it's astonishing that one day a 6 year old child is saying uncle i'm really stressed oh. i was stressed because he told me uncle and uh, <laughs> then there are so many teenagers who are actually uh undergoing a lot of substance abuse and uh you know horrible lifestyle because they are not able to tackle stress and then in return then the parents are stressed because the children are not doing well and then that cycle goes on so what will be your suggestion or a message for the younger generation the teenagers and the young millennials so i really word one of the things which i have uh, observed in the last 3 years yeah circle of association is the most important thing now that child he did not knew about that word stress but there was someone in this association who actually spoke about stress and i have i have heard this this a lot your child is not going to do what you say he is only going to do what you do right so as a parent if you are using Absolutely. a word that particular time in that uh, uh, what what do you say the references of your words your child is going to pick up that and he doesn't know the meaning of stress 
he just knows the word if i am tensed if something is getting me worried i'll use that word and it will be conveyed so rather than speaking in your language of what you have to make them understand if we start speaking in their language of what they want to communicate and what they want to convey to us i don't think so stress is something which is bothering that but 6 year old he doesn't even know the meaning of that so i think don't bother or don't get actually stressed with the word stress yeah <laughs> uh, identify what the problem is because a lot of time even a basic exhaustion or a bad day is actually not uh, contributing your stress we just actually then start spelling it out as oh it i'm stressed that that makes me remind something so i was taking a, a zoom session yesterday with my uh, clients and one of the lady she said that i have been trying to uh, lose weight 20 kgs of weight from last i don't know maybe a decade 9 or 10 years and i'm not able to do that and i asked what did you try like, i tried this i tried this i tried this i tried this she tried so many things now and she said now i don't believe it is going to happen and people around me are also saying if you join this gym or if you join this particular yoga session things are not going to happen now when i asked her what what, what is the problem she says i've tried everything now if you feel that you have tried everything why did you not even appreciate yourself for trying right a lot of now a days the problem with a lot of people is they are result oriented not process oriented if you keep continuing the process result is a by product right but if you just so there has focus to be on consistency result, and there has to be faith in yourself and the thing what you are doing 100% i mean it's the process right if i exactly. want to make a cup of coffee there is a process i cannot sit like this watch the gas and say now coffee oh, will yeah, yeah. <laughs> come it is not going to come it's a process right. now if you are doing the process at least sit with yourself pat your back that you at least tried and now ask how can it how can it be done better right that's the question you have to ask how can it be done better and a lot of people what do they ask themselves what goofed up that's the wrong question you ask yourself which is taking you towards stress if you ask yourself what went wrong okay fine what can i do better how can i make it right. better how can i make it better how can i make it better now for that conversation is taking you somewhere else right and probably sometimes even that will lead to, lead you to stress because then you know you keep thinking that oh how i'm going to get better if that But happens every time if you acknowledge yourself that oh at least i'm i'm doing that much exactly. i think that will be fabulous if that happens you you won't even know the word stress right so uh, you know it's been an uh, amazing conversation and i think we can just go on and on exactly. i think only thing was missing was a cup of coffee <laughs> <laughs> so what would be your message um, you know on the occasion of national stress awareness day to people a message would be start writing what do you feel i mean it's very important i started by doing this i started every day i used to sit with myself 4 to 5 minutes not more than that and i used to write what i feel and a lot of things used to come out and i now i used to get new space to think new things just because for example if i for example you are a uh, construction you are a developer a business de- uh, sorry a construction developer you are a builder and if you give a particular idea to your laborers this is a structure of building you have to make this just by showing by talking you have to make this uh, this is the ground floor this is a piling stone uh, these are the tiles you are going to fit and go do your work right he won't be able to do the work why just because he doesn't have a plan so when you sit and write you now allow yourself to make a plan for yourself right and that's one of the most important thing if you do that daily for next 30 days sit with yourself for 3 to 4 minutes you will become 100 times better than where you are today so very important uh, i think it's a very important message for a lot of youngsters and many people around uh, thank you rohit so much for uh, giving your valuable inputs and your time thank you so much bhavesh bhai i also want to uh, just like i said in the beginning i want to share my experience over here when i came over here i i in my mind one thing was very clear i'm not joining a gym it's going to be my community place i'm going to right. come over here i'm going to talk with people i'm going to express my thoughts and that's what i did in the very first place i told that this is not a gym i'm joining this is going to be my community place i'm going to come here interact know people and that's how i got to know you so better but in all lost all the previous gyms i was just going with the one mindset that i i need to lose weight i need to lose weight and that was the inner code in my uh, back said you're looking bad you're looking ugly you're not looking good but the reason why i came here it was the community which helped me do that in regards to not only 
understanding what I want. Just because when we, when we sat, you asked me the first question, what do you want? A lot of gyms don't even ask you. They just <laughs> say, do the membership. The gym is ready, go hit it. This is the best package. I swear, <laughs> haan, this is the best package. I mean, uh, we, we did not even discuss about the price. It was the last part. You asked me, what do you want? I conveyed it. And now you actually gave me a platter of, this is how you'll achieve this. Now in my head, I was very clear. That if I do this, 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 I'm going to achieve this. And this is where I am today. Where after almost 12 years, I've achieved my waistline again. I was 32, 12 years back. And it, the journey got from 34, 36, 38, and then 36, then 34, then 36 again, then 34. It was struggling to go to 32. And now I'm 32 again. And it was only possible just because you gave me a space to express myself. And that's one of the most important things. And thank you so much for having these kind of place so i'm um, actually i'll thank you uh, you know because you actually made my day because that is what we do out of passion uh, so, the whole purpose is you know we believe in preventive healthcare and a holistic approach it's not I only and always about the waistline or your abs or the physique it's actually in the state of mind and absolutely. that is the reason actually we are doing we this kind of uh, podcast or talks or you know people we talk to people like you who can actually highlight certain issues and certain very simple things in life to more people. So coming to the most important thing is that, uh, you know, stress, as I said, that people talk about. Uh, if you know someone who has been chronically stressed or in a not a very good uh, state of mind, kindly talk to them, kindly get into some counseling or ask them to approach some for, for a professional help. The reason is because, you know, life is supposed to be lived uh, to the fullest. And since life is beautiful, why, do you, why don't you live it to the fullest? Okay, so I would like to end this podcast and thank you so much. And if anyone has any queries or questions, please write to us or comment. And yeah. we'll be more than happy to uh, answer. answer. You back. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you so much. much.